every Sunday, these sounds soak the walls of this West Side Church. That is, every Sunday until one year ago. Amen. You may be seated. I remember conversation with my church secretary that morning before I left, and she mentioned the COVID and the possibility of shutting down. And I kind of laughed and I said, we will never shut down. Unfortunately, the coronavirus was something no church was prepared for. And just like the hundreds of houses of worship around the tri-state, St. James West did close, first in the spring and again in the fall. We were shut down from uh, middle of November until one month ago. Members of the nearly 300 person congregation were kept out, but they could still keep up technology had to become a sudden priority. Welcome to our first maiden voyage of a video church service. Uh, the times that we're living in now dictate some alternative methods to reach out to our body here at St. James West. Just making sure that we were prepared for that first Sunday uh, to put our service out online, which is something we had not done before. Changes to church services in the tri-state haven't been limited to just one faith. It's really been all of them. Here at Holy Name Catholic Church in Henderson, being physically present at Sunday Mass is not only extremely important to the Catholic faith, but it's also something families have been doing every Sunday for generations, until one year ago when they were suddenly told it wasn't possible. You know, we used to um, distribute uh, communion under the cup at every one of our Masses, and I don't know if we'll ever get that back. Like other churches, Holy Name went into total lockdown, hoping it would be for just a couple of weeks. We didn't have mass at all. We couldn't have people in the church. We couldn't have people in the offices. We couldn't go visit people. So we were completely shut down. A place built to inspire awe and to invoke reflection suddenly became forbidden to many in the community who may have felt like they needed it most something that weighed on the priest of the church in the early months of the pandemic. You know, we would have funerals with not even all the family there because they, it, the family would be too large, so they would have to decide who was going to be there. So it was really hard for the parish to kind of mourn and uh, be public about the mourning of some of those that we lost. One year later, though the light can be seen at the end of the tunnel, it doesn't mean the vision is clear. For churches across the area, each step continues into the unknown. Um, will people come back? Will everybody come back? Uh, we're a little worried. You know, I hear from some people who say they, they just are hungry to get back to church. They just miss it so much. Um, and then I don't hear anything from others. So, you know, it's kind of hard to know what's going to happen.